I mean, some are ending the semester, some are ending the school, some others are ending many things, and they have also opportunity to start many things. But today, I want to give to you a good news. The good news is found in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verses 1, is what we could learn, what we could share today. The Bible says that there is no condemnation for those who are in... There is no condemnation, right? There is, therefore, now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. If I could be given the opportunity to give the, uh, the title lesson for this week, aside from the one that we learned, I could say, a blessed assurance. Amen. This is a blessed assurance knowing that there is no more condemnation because the one that died at the Calvary, he paid it all for you and me. Amen. This lesson um, was a wonderful lesson, and I want just to summarize the lesson in a few words. This is the continuation, or it is the answer of chapter 7 of Romans, right? Chapter 8 is the continuation of chapter 7 of Romans. And for those who started the lesson last week, they could understand more better what is really the meaning of Romans chapter 7 after you reach chapter 8 of Romans. And as well, the lesson says that obedience to the law, or to law, had not been, never ever can be a means of salvation. You are justified by the blood of Jesus Christ. We are justified by the blood of Jesus Christ. But on the other hand as well, the law point us to Christ, shows to us that we are sinners and we need Jesus Christ in our life. The meaning of that there is no condemnation for those who walk in the Spirit, it brings to us a reminder that we need to build a friendship with Jesus Christ. And this is what the lesson could show to us. The continuation of uh, what Paul discussed on chapter 7 of Romans and what he presented on chapter 7 or chapter 8 is a close relationship with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, I mean, the friendship with Jesus. The meaning walk, it means that it's a daily relationship with Jesus Christ. We could find uh, maybe different kind of, uh, of meaning for this walk in the spirit. But what Paul is trying to tell us is, there is no condemnation for those who walk in the Spirit, for those who accept daily the presence of the Holy Spirit in their lives, for those who accept Jesus daily in their lives. And this is the big invitation for all of us as the year is ending. And as we know that we are not perfect, we have many sins to confess. We have many things to repent. And Jesus is inviting us today. Through the lesson, we could understand that indeed Jesus wants to walk with us, not tomorrow. And he didn't leave us yesterday. He wants to walk with us every day. This is the reason why there is no condemnation. Only for those who are willing to build their friendship with Jesus. And we know what friendship means. When you are friendly with someone, if the friendship is good, it gives you the test to continue to be a friend of this one, not to stop, right? I have a best friend. And my wish is to be always with my best friend. And the same thing happened when we are in Jesus Christ. That's why there is no condemnation. I hope we could learn and I hope we could put it in our hearts. And as we are facing the new lesson for this week to come, children of the promises, let's not forget that there is no condemnation for those who are in Jesus Christ. May the Lord God bless us. Amen. For the closing song, let's all stand and sing Victory in Jesus. Oh, 